Chinese smartphone maker Huawei has released its much-anticipated Harmony operating system. It's developed by its in-house team for use across all of its smartphones and smart hardware devices instead of Google's Android. But can Harmony really hang with Android and Apple's iOS, which currently have a duopoly in the operating systems market? Harmony's origins date back to 2012, when Huawei founder Ren Zhengfei and a small team of executives held a closed-door meeting to brainstorm ideas on reducing its dependency on Android. They feared such a heavy reliance would leave the company vulnerable if it were to face a U.S. ban. Fast forward seven years, and that ban came to fruition in May 2019 after the U.S. cut off Huawei from American-controlled technology. New Huawei devices sold outside China lost access to Google services on the official version of Android. Google services on Android devices had long been unavailable in China. About three months later, Huawei unveiled Harmony OS, known as Hongmeng in Chinese. Huawei builds Harmony as the world's most advanced OS for the next generation of smartphones and other smart devices. Unlike Google and Apple, which use separate OSs for different types of electronic products, Huawei says Harmony can be used across different devices, including PCs, smartware products, automobiles, smart speakers and earphones, and eventually devices like VR glasses. Huawei has also developed a tool called the R Compiler, which makes it easier for app developers to tweak the apps they've made for Android and make them work on Harmony. Huawei hopes its R compiler will help Harmony succeed where other alternative OSs have failed. Microsoft launched its own OS for its Windows Phone family, but failed to entice developers to make apps for it, and eventually abandoned it altogether in 2017. And Samsung's attempt to replace Android on smartphones with this Tizen OS also failed. But getting users to switch over to Harmony is going to be an uphill battle for Huawei. Android and iOS have a stranglehold on smartphone operating systems with almost 99% of the global market share. And it's too early to tell whether app developers will use the R compiler to make their apps work on Harmony. After the launch of the latest version of Harmony on June 2nd, Huawei released a list of partners who will use the OS, but not a single smartphone maker is on that list. So whether app makers will adapt their creations to Harmony very much depends on how consumers embrace the new OS and Huawei's new smart devices.